Hey everyone, Sam here. Just wanted to talk you through what I think is one of the biggest productivity techniques that you can use in Power BI right now that will speed up your development by maybe two to three hundred percent. It is absolutely crazy how much time you can save by embedding um, custom backgrounds into your reports and also having a totally customized theme inside of um, inside of your reports. Okay, so let's start with the backgrounds because I get a lot of questions about this because this is really, you know, this is sort of turning into the only way that I like to develop Power BI reports. Now, what we've done internally in Enterprise DNA is we've, instead of, of, of having to dream up um, new sort of, um, designs to your reports and that includes you know how you structure the grids within your reports how you do how you structure the navigation just the, the entire look and feel right what we've figured out is that you can do a lot of that background work inside of say powerpoint or inside of this technology called figma which enables you to just just to design um nice uh, sort of wallpaper designs you can do a lot of that work outside of Power BI, and then quickly implement it into Power BI. Um, so I'll give you an example. So I'll, I'll go through um, the, the sort of custom theme that I've got in here as, as well. Um, I'll do that next. But you see here that I've got a nice background here, okay? And what I'll do, I'll actually open up, um, I'll open up a report where I've, where I've got this completely done as well. Here it is. So this was actually a recent challenge submission that I created. But if we click through here, if we click through these particular pages, you'll see that it's all similar setup, but it um, has a different sort of background embedded into it. And all of this background is, is just one flat wallpaper design um, with a range of different variations in terms of the grid pattern in, in, uh, underneath it. Now, there's, there's a ton of like benefits of doing this, right? There's, a, there's literally a ton. One is just save you so much time in terms of like having your like creative thought as you're actually looking to design Power BI reports. I mean, that can, that can honestly drain you so much as like you've created the analysis, like how do you make it look good? You know, if you, if you could set up a whole range of custom thing, custom designs like this, um, and, and just do it once, well, then you don't have to think about that going forward, right? Particularly if you want it in the same theme throughout your entire organization. And so what we have done internally um, at Enterprise DNA is we've done this, right? We have a range of different, of, of different designs, a range. So a range of different backgrounds, but all the same theme and same design, okay? So say, for instance, I want to be able to um, put a different uh, look or, or like have different areas for different insights, I can um, select from one of these different pre-built um, backgrounds, right? So here's if I just want, this one is just if I want a big table, you know, this is perfect, right? It's just one big box. I can put a table in there, okay? Um, say I want to show more insights, you know, and I don't need more boxes. Well, I've got this one here and I can fit it into here as well, okay? These are actually created by Mudaset, who works with us um, um, as, a, as a partner at Enterprise DNA. He actually sort of came up with this idea and he had a recent summit um, at, a, at our last reporting and design uh, visualization, reporting and visualization summit. He actually showcased how you actually build these, th these things. For me, this is just really showcasing just the speed, the speed and productivity. I mean, I literally do not want to create PowerPoint, Power BI reports any other way than this now because it's just the speed in which I can create them. It's just it's insane um, without having to even think of all this stuff. You know, this, I can make it look good and I can make it and I can do it very fast. Now, the other benefit here, right, is if you wanted to design something like this, but actually use within um, the Power BI experience, you actually wanted to use shapes to create it. This actually makes your, your Power BI file less optimized because there's more elements within the particular um, page right like if you had to have this box and this box and this box and this box and this logo and this box and so on and so forth right there's just too many elements in the page it actually um, increases the size of your report it slows down the updating of the report page um, this this just actually um, updates your reports just like that like really really fast because it's only one image it's literally one image in the background you can then have a lot of flexibility in how you design things like I've done inside of here, but it's within the, um, 
you know, it's, it's within this refined template basically, right? So I've added icons. I've added some, some links down the, down the bottom here. Um, you know, I've added a whole range of things. I've, I've added some t a different title, uh, so on and so forth. Um, but it's within the confines of this, this great theme, right? And so, you know, I don't have to be too creative. I can, I can be creative, um, within, within this confined environment. Now, the other thing to layer on here to really take things to another level is you want a really comprehensive theme already worked up in exactly the same style and theming with the same colors, et cetera, right? So think about this from a business point of view. You, one, you want your, your um, backgrounds and your designs all sorted out. So maybe work up a whole range of variations um, like, like what we have, uh, but then layer on top a, a, a theme and then you don't even have to think about, you know, manipulating any colors or, or manipulating any elements within a, within a, a, a chart or a visualization. Okay. And so to actually change a sort of lot of global themes, you can, you can do that within here, right? You can, you can go into modeling, you can do in this drop down, you can do customize current thing. Okay. So you can come in here and you can customize a lot of things. Okay. Um, but this can only take you so far. One of the other things that really annoys me is that, um, with, with the current theming is you can't actually manipulate anything within these visualizations. So things like having axes titles or having your tables set up in a certain like style, none of those can be manipulated within this, this here, right? That's why we have built at Enterprise DNA, um, the analyst, uh, this theme generator within the analyst hub. Okay. So within the analyst hub, this is our own productivity tool that we make available to users who have access to our platform. Okay. We have this theme generator and what you can do within this is you can actually import a current theme and then totally manipulate the theme, not only the global th things, but also all the individual elements within your, like all the individual visualizations. So for example, if you do not want the, um, the axes titles to show what you can do is you can click them off here. Okay. Um, in these, in this particular visualization, right? You can click, tick them off like that. You can go through and go through and do the same for every visualization, right? You can totally manipulate all the visualizations, how you see fit, how you like, okay? And then that is how you build a super comprehensive thing, right? A, one that is, that, that, that really covers everything that you could, you know, want. To see, to show you what this theme looks like, I'll show you this. So what happens when you build a theme, a really comprehensive theme, it basically brings, creates this huge JSON file that, um, that has all of that unique metadata and it breaks it down by, um, global, like your, your, your global themes, but also your, your specific themes within, um, within, within each visualization. And I've spent actually a lot of time looking at this particular, uh, code and you know, some, sometimes if you want to change something like really quickly. Um, you know, another way you can do it is you can literally come in here and say, there's a particular, you know, there's a particular, um, thing that you want to change across lots of things you can go find and replace within this particular, um, text as well. And so there's, there's a lot of, you know, you can use, use our tool to, to get things started, but to just, to, you know, to, to get a lot more consistency quickly across all those different visualizations, there's ways to do it inside of here as well. So look, and then you upload this into um, into your Power BI desktop files. And then think about, you know, another thing to think about is, is, is making these actually, um, like just embedding these as a template. So that you actually, st everyone's starting from the same starting point, right? With the same backgrounds, the same theme. That's another way that you can really do it is you just come in here and you, um, browse for themes and then you upload that new thing. That's really it. So those are two things. Those are two things that I wanted to share. This is how we are. This is how I'm doing it internally now. This is how we we plan to to do it within enterprise DNA going forward. I just think it is an absolute no brainer. I mean, the speed in which you can develop using this um, this this methodology is insane. It's absolutely insane. And when you layer on a few other things that we're we've, we've got, like um, with the analyst hub, you can you know you can automate the formulas that you create. Right? You can save all of your formulas into into your own documents and um all of the different code that you use within your 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 power bi reports you know being able to um quickly go and reference that to go and reference uh, code from the community um you know by literally copying and paste copy and paste copy and paste 
you know, another, there's another productivity gain that you can make, right? So there's, there is a ton of little things that you can do, um, that can really enhance, um, the speed in which you, you are developing Power BI reports. And, and these are just a few ideas that, that I think that you should really explore and, and that, yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to, um, definitely empower more as well, you know, watch out for some, some, some more, um, you know, resources and, and things that we might create around this, um, in the future to really speed up, uh, all of our connections, um, development. Okay. That's it. Thanks all. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.